Hey, what's up guys? Call of Truth here, bringing you all some more Battlefield 3 Armored Kill DLC gameplay. And today I've got a round of Rush Attack for you guys on the map Armored Shield. And what I want to do with this video is talk to you all a little bit about what it's like to run as an infantry player. What it's like to play Assault, what it's like to play Recon, and can you do it and can you do it effectively? So, in this video I will be only playing Recon just because... This was a just a pretty good match that I had a couple days ago when Armor Kill first came out. And I wanted to show it to you guys. And I don't want to have a lengthy video discussing this topic right now. And I'll talk more about that in just a second as far as why. But in this video, I'll be using the Spaz-12 and the Recon Kit, like I said. But I'll have Iron Sights, Extended Mags, and Slug Rounds on this bad boy. still love the slugs. They're so much fun to use on this thing. Hopefully, I'll get my 40th, 40th Service Star pretty soon. Although, in Armor Kill maps, they're extremely... It's, this thing is pretty hard to use unless you're playing Rush. Conquest, it's... You know. You can't really use it very well. But And then a little bit later on in the video, I'll switch and run the UMP-45 in the Recon class with the Cobra Sight, Laser Sight, and Flash Suppressor. And that thing, since it did get that buff to 34 max damage, is a lot of fun to use. Now, some people may be crying that it's overpowered. No, by no means. The range on that thing is horrible. When it gets out to even medium long range, the accuracy is garbage. The damage is still really low. It's so hard to use at range. But on rush maps, it works pretty darn well because, as you can see from a lot of these engagements, they're pretty close quarters. But uh, right here in the gameplay, I shoot this guy right in his face. And then what was that? Did I just get a knife through a wall? Yeah, I can't believe that just happened. But whatever. So, what is it like to play Assault? You know, how is it? Can you play Assault? Can you play Recon on these maps? Because, you know, they're so big, they're so open, they got all these vehicles. Yeah, obviously you can't. You, you know, you have four class options. But can you do it effectively? Yes or no. As an attacker on Rush, play whatever class you want. Play Assault, play Recon. You could have everyone on your team playing Assault. You could Medic Train and probably still win. So how about Defenders? This is where you gotta be careful. As a defender, uh, almost everyone is just going to play Engineer. That's, you know, almost in any random pub match, people are going to play Engineer. Here's what I always do when I'm playing as a Rush defender. I make sure there is at least one or two players on my team that are playing Assault. I mean, literally, when the match starts, sometimes just stand there and watch people run by. I'm not kidding. Some guys may laugh at me. I'm serious. Make sure that someone is running Assault, because if everyone's playing Engineer, and everyone's playing Support, you can't, you know, if they wipe out your squad, you're dead. You don't have a, you don't, you don't have a, um, some teammate in a different squad coming to pick you guys back up. You don't have that. You're all dead. Now you got to spawn back at deployment and run back in here, and because of that, since the attackers do have the luxury of having so many vehicles, they pushed up past the MCOMs now towards your spawn. Now they've really pinned you back. Whereas before, if you had made sure that someone was running Assault and you saw that nobody was, so you did it yourself and you're able to revive your teammates, you're able to actually have a fair fight at the MCOMs. So that's one of the things I do to make sure that, uh, well, I say, that, uh, that you can do if you want to play Assault. Just make sure as a defender that there's somebody playing Assault. Now, right here, I do want to mention I did hop in the tank destroyer for the last base, so I don't really do any more ground pounding as an infantry right now, but uh, we take this base out pretty quick. But what I want to do in the future with you guys is give more of a class guide on how to play assault. Not like this is the ultimate way, but just give you guys tips that I've learned that have helped my gameplay out that have allowed for a lot more fun when playing rush attack, rush defense, and conquest. Now I'll be doing this for probably both Assault and for Recon because I've got, I got especially one very good Conquest round while playing as a Recon that I know you guys are going to enjoy. So be look, on the lookout for that in the next couple of days. As well as the Assault one I'm going to be talking about a little bit more. I'm going to try to get that out before Armor Kill releases for the Xbox 360 and the PC next Tuesday because I know those guys are very, very anxious to get their hands on that because it... So far from what I've heard of feedback from a lot of you guys is that you're enjoying the gameplay, you're watching it, it looks like a lot of fun. And I'm sure it will be a lot different just seeing it from through other people's perspective, uh, their take on it, how they see all the new vehicles, the new maps, what tactics they can bring to the table. Because, you know, some commentators think di differently than a lot of other ones. They think, you know, these new creative ways to, I don't know, play, you know, engineer or like support or they find new guns, new setups that work well. So... Once again, I'm very, very curious to see that, but hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. I know it was pretty short, but like I said, I'm going to be covering this, this topic a little bit more extensively in the future with more videos. I might do one or two per, or I'm not sure, I may just do mainly one. 
We'll have to see. But it, once the end score pops up, you'll see that I actually finished top of my team and I was playing recon. So that's not bad considering I wasn't playing a vehicle heavy class or really a class that can deal with vehicles at all. And I still did this well. That's uh, That speaks th that you can actually play a different class other than engineer and other than support. So once again, I hope you guys did enjoy this video and commentary. Leave me your thoughts below about this topic. I'm very curious if you guys have found good and uh uh, I don't know, not really creative, but uh, just effective ways to play Assault or Recon when uh, going up against these many vehicles in Armored Kill. And y'all have a good day. Talk to you later.